Welcome back to another episode of Vibe with Bellow. Today we're going to look at the Wix Location API. The Wix Location API has information about your site URL, so you can access things like the base, the path, the page that you're on, as well as query parameters. It also includes a two function to do dynamic navigation to other pages in your site or even externally. In this episode, we're gonna be focusing on the Wix location.2 function to see some of the cool features that it has, as well as some of the things that you may not have known that you can do with the dot two function. It's really quite powerful and super cool and makes everything on your site dynamic, even if you can't do it in the standard Wix editor. Without further ado, let's dive into the code. So I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen here. So we're back on our Kickstarter style page where we can fund a different project. And on this page, we have a couple different buttons that allow our users to interact with our page. For example, we have a back this project button. On the back this project button, maybe instead of having them stay on this home page, we want to immediately direct them to go fill in their credit card information and sign up to back this project. So what we can do is we can add an on click function to this button which I already have here, which will hide the button just so users don't double click. And then at this point, we can start using the Wix location to function to navigate to that other page if we don't already have it linked or if we wanna do some other validation before we move to the next page. So the most basic version of this is just gonna be navigating to the next page. So we're gonna go ahead and grab the Wix location API, which I already have imported. So you need to make sure that you import the Wix location API because as you know, with Velo, not all of the APIs come imported on your site automatically because that would really hurt your site's performance. So we already have Wix location imported here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the to function. And here I can go ahead and input any of my site strings to my other pages. So in this case, once we want a user wants to back this project, let's go ahead and bring them over to the fill in your details page, which is where they would enter their user information as well as their credit card details. So let's go ahead and do fill in your details. If you're not sure what your URL stub is for these pages, what you can do is you go to those three dots next to your page. You're gonna go ahead to settings, settings, and then on the settings part, you can go to SEO basics, and this is where you'll find what your URL slug is for your page. You can also change it here too. So Wix will sometimes set them to like blank one or blank two. You can go ahead and change the URL as well here to make it more descriptive for site navigation. So as I can see here, it is called fill in your details. I'm gonna go ahead and close this and go back to my homepage to make sure I've correctly typed that in. Yep, fill in your details. One of the things to note with the dot two function is it doesn't work in that preview mode. So it doesn't work in like your test site. You're gonna have to publish your site to be able to see this working. So now that my site is published, I can go ahead and view my site. And when I go down to that back this project button, when I go ahead and click that, it will navigate me to my fill in the details page. So that's the most basic example we have here. Another really cool feature of this is you can also automatically navigate to a UI element on that other page. So then you can start treating different UI elements on your navigation page like anchor tags. So for example, maybe we wanna immediately go, as you saw that there was a lot of white space at the top with the header, maybe we immediately wanna go to the payment box. So like if we go look in the fill in your details page, the user is going to see all of this stuff right away. So maybe if they're on a smaller screen size, they're not actually going to see the details to fill in their payment information. So what if we just automatically scroll to the payment box and had them have that fill up their screen? So I'm going to grab the UI ID, the ID of the UI element, which here is called payment box, or I can see it here too as well, payment box. And back on my homepage, I'm going to use the pound sign or the hashtag, depending on your generation, um, to go ahead and tell it which UI element to, to navigate to by providing the ID. So we're going to do hashtag payment box. Now, again, remember to test this, we actually are going to have to publish it. 
So we're gonna go ahead and publish our changes and go ahead and look at our site. So last time when we clicked that back, this project button, it navigated to the very top of the page. We were able to still see the bamboo and eco-friendly header. So now when we go to the back this project page, we should immediately be scrolled down to the payment box and that should be what fills our screen. So let's go ahead and check that out. So we're navigating to fill in your details and the page automatically scrolls where the your details portion of the page is the one that is being highlighted for the user to see. So that's really handy for if you want to make sure that your users aren't getting lost if they're navigating between site pages and you want to take them to a direct section, you can use the pound or hashtag, however you like to call it, uh, UI element ID to get them exactly where you want them going when they navigate to that new page. With two, you can also take them to an external URL. And another really cool thing is you can also take them to an email address. So for example, here, maybe at the bottom in my footer, I actually have a text element. And this text element is not normally linkable to anything in the classic Wix editor. But with Velo, I can make this linkable to my email address. So since we're in the footer, this is actually a generic component. So we need to go to the master page. So I'm gonna go ahead and switch over to master. And now I'm able to see the UI event handlers for the text element. Let's go ahead and add a new on-click function to that email text. Once we're in the email text, oops, but we are on a new code file. So we're gonna to have to make sure we import that Wix location API as well. Almost forgot that. <laughs> And now in our click function, we can go ahead and use Wix location dot two. And we're gonna go mail to just like a standard mail. Um, what should we call it? Link that you would create on any other page. Sorry, yeah, I just blanked on what that was called. Um, we're gonna go with velo at example.com. And now that UI element will become a link to your email. So we're gonna go ahead and publish. We're gonna go ahead and view our site. And now here, when I hover over it, I'm able to see that this is a link to an email. So it should open up my default email editor, which you guys can't see because I'm only showing the Chrome screen, but yes, it just opened inbox on my MacBook here. So it's super handy to make any text elements a link to a file download. You can also do files. You can do external sites. Um, you can do other page sites inside of your Wix site as well and use that pound sign to also navigate to the UI elements. So it really helps increase the dynam dynamicness of your site and be able to add links wherever you need them on any portion of your site, even if that UI element doesn't out of the box have linking capabilities. The Wix 2 is a really powerful tool for site navigation and incre increasing the dynamicness of your site. So definitely deep dive more into the Velo documentation to see what else you can do with 2. There are some limitations on the scrolling. For example, you can only use UI elements that have a scroll to function. And you can check those elements that are available by looking through the API documentation to see which ones have the scroll to event. And it's a really easy way to add more dynamicness to your site. So check out the API docs and keep tuning in to Vibe with Bello. Thanks for checking in. I'm Meredith.